and welcome to the Holiday Cottage Handbook Podcast, the platform which helps you become the best and most profitable short-term rentals manager. I'm your host, James Varley, and today we'll be talking to another special guest in the short-term rental sector. Roger Graham is the founder and CEO of Arana Stay, a digital welcome guide and concierge which helps short-term rental hosts and property managers engage and amaze their guests. Roger will be talking about the platform, his journey in the vacation rental space, and the impact of AI in the industry. Now, our goal here at HCH is to share everything you need to know about buying and managing short-term rentals, whether you're a host, investor, or property manager, to get the most out of our platform, make sure you head to the website, it's holidaycottagehandbook.com, where you can sign up for our free weekly newsletter and download our free ebook, which offers a comprehensive guide to buying and managing short-term rentals. And if you're just starting out and need some help and support, or you want to grow your portfolio, you can book an introductory one-hour chat with me for just £100. Head to the website for more details. Also, make sure you follow us on social media. We're active on Facebook, X, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube. You can get all the links from our website, holidaycottagehandbook.com. Now, before we chat to our special guest, I want to tell you all about Host Hub, which is a top rated property management platform for short term rentals. Host Hub can help you increase your revenue, improve operations, and ultimately save you time and money. Host Hub has everything you need to manage your properties effortlessly and reliably. It will sync rates and availability across all the channels where your properties are listed, and it includes tools like automated messaging team management and expenses. It also includes smart pricing integration, task and cleaning management and automated door locks. Host Hub provides a zero double booking guarantee, 24-7 support with an average response time below three minutes and a fresh and friendly interface that is easy to learn and use. And right now, Host Hub is offering a 14-day free trial to any host or property manager who would like to try the platform. Head to hosthub.com for further details. Thank you for listening to the HCH podcast. It's time now to welcome our special guest. Roger Graham is the founder and CEO of Arana Stay, a digital welcome guide and concierge which helps short-term rental hosts and property managers engage and amaze their guests. The app can help you market your brand, communicate in multiple languages, and promote the local area and businesses where you operate. Roger, it's a pleasure to welcome you to the podcast. Thank you for joining us. James, it's an absolute pleasure to be here, and thank you for the invite. It's a pleasure. Uh, Okay, so tell us about your story in short-term rentals. What led you to launch Arana Stay? Well, we've actually, my my wife and my wife is Karen and myself, we've actually done short-term rentals ourselves before. Um, And then as everyone knows, COVID came along and interrupted people's lives and Especially down here in Australia, it's probably hit a bit harder than than other places. But basically what happened is during that period, um, we had holidays booked kind of during the COVID period. And what actually happened is they were all kind of put on hold. And it was kind of like you had to use them. Use them or lose them was kind of the the motto at the time. So we decided, well, we'll take these holidays back to back. And during COVID, we spent some time writing our new platform to keep busy. And we went on these holidays and it's, I won't bore you with too much of the details, but basically I have one kind of requirement on a daily basis, and that's to get a cup of coffee in the morning. I have to have a cup of coffee. And we went to this first park to stay at, and they had this beautiful little cart outside, coffee, big signs. I thought, oh, well, great. Next morning I'll be there first thing, get a coffee. Got up early, 7 a.m., took a walk there, and it was closed. Um, I, off, I went off to reception and said, well, when's the coffee shop opening? And they didn't know. And so I said, well, okay, well, where's the nearest coffee shop? Because I've got to get a cup of coffee. We don't know. <laughs> um, so I was going, wow, okay. So we, we spent the holiday and we were there for five days and we, it was open one day out of those five days. I managed to get a cup of coffee, which was crazy. So we went to the next place. Um, and again, they had this, it was quite a walk up a hill, but they had this cafe at the top of the hill. And as we walked in, they had this big blackboard and said, Cafe hours, Wednesday to Sunday, et cetera. So closed Monday, Tuesday. And we got there on a Thursday, so Friday morning. Got up, up the hill, got to the top, and it was closed. 
Um, <laughs> and this story went on. And we were sitting there thinking at the, the one evening, had a, had a few drinks and said, well, there's got to be a better way. Um, surely these pieces of paper and reception not knowing what's going on. It's, I said, from a guest point of view, it's very frustrating. And that's where the whole or honest day journey actually started was um, our own inconvenience and hassles and frustrations going away. So it's a, a lack of caffeine, really. <laughs> lack which, of uh, caffeine tr- which drove powered, us to this. Yes. Powered Arana Stay. <laughs> so, so tell us about the platform then. What are the main features and why should hosts and property managers be taking a look at what you're offering? So basically our platform takes over where the booking software ends. So in the bigger scheme of things, a guest will log on your websites there to sell your accommodation, to get them to really book in, basically. And, and really what we want to do is after the booking, we want to be able to engage with them, make them a happy guest so that they tell others and come back. And, and that's the whole experience. So we actually send the, the guest guide to them basically immediately after booking. Uh, some people choose to send it later. We've got flexibility in that. And that guide really contains everything you need to know about where you're going. From the time you leave home, so how to get there, uh, it includes directions, etc. It may contain vital information on how you check in, key codes is, is a big one. But also information on the property. Um, think about when guests leave, what do they need to do? What can you provide them in the area? You're the expert. The guest isn't. I mean, we went to places we've never been before. So we don't know where the coffee shops are. We don't know where the restaurants are. But if you can give that to the guests and stops me having to go and look at Google and all these kind of things, it's going to be a much more enjoyable experience for the guest. Plus, we're also saving paper. Let's not invent, forget the environmental side. I mean, the amount of paper you – there's a cost involved to that. And keeping paper up to date takes a lot of effort, a lot of printing. Whereas with a digital guest guide, you can simply change the information, hit publish, And it's instantly available on a guest's phone. So tell us about how this kind of enhances the the guest experience. I think this is what all hosts and property managers are are trying to achieve at the moment. So the way it enhances the guest experience is the ability to provide the information to the guest when they need it. So if you can think of of even your journeys in the past where you've, you've traveled, they might have a compendium in the room. It's a piece of paper, for example. Um, generally it's out of date and it's a pizza shop that's closed um, or you put it on the TV and the TV is great but they're not mobile so if I'm a guest and I'm going out and I say okay well I've got the wife and kids and I'm going to go find somewhere to eat um, I want to be able to look at the information where I am I don't want to have to go back to the room or have to look at the room bef- information in the room before I actually go out and that's part of the experience the other part of the experience is also um, interacting with the guest to give them all the information. So for me, we go back to coffee. Um, I always seem to fight with coffee machines. Um, I go and play, stay at places. They have a coffee machine. I can never get the thing to work. Um, but with the, the guide, for example, you can actually put a video on how to use the coffee machine in a particular room or in a particular property or whatever the case may be. So it allows you to, to take that frustration away from the guests. They know where they're going. They know what to expect. Um, they can even pre- preview where they're going beforehand. And because our guest guide actually um, takes the booking information as well, we can actually personalize it and say, hi, James, we look forward to welcoming you in five days' time. So it's, it's not a removed experience. It's actually a personal experience. And in time, and we'll, we'll talk about this a bit later, is, is we want to start learning about the guests as well. So, for example, if you come into a property and we, for example, put in shopping cart technology that you always buy a bottle of champagne on arrival, the next time you book, we want to know that you always buy a bottle of champagne on arrival. We should pre- be preempting that. And that's, that's where the guest experience really comes in. So tell us about the onboarding process then. Let's imagine I'm a host that wants to sign up. Just talk us through that. Sure. So um, we know hosts are very busy. You try to run accommodation, you've got guests happening, you've got cleaning issues going on. So we do a lot of the work for you um, because you don't have the time to do that. And what we've also recently done is we've started um, integrating our software through to a lot of the the booking softwares. So some of the popular ones we've integrated with is, for example, Guesty, Hostaway, um, and there's a whole lot more coming out as well. We're also starting to use the uh, OpenAR technology as well. And what that means is we can use OpenAR to generate some of the content that you would have to sit and write. So um, getting information about the area, or activities in the area, or any information 
of what you can do as a guest, we can actually use OpenAI to generate that stuff. And what you've got to bear in mind with OpenAI is OpenAI, you can't just sit and forget. So the whole point about OpenAI is it learns about what you're asking and also learns more about the area that you're asking about. So we want to be able to generate and regenerate that content on a frequent basis to make it better and better for the guests all the time. Um, from that point of view, it's a very simple process. You get in touch. We have like a complimentary call. See what booking software you're using. See what you're trying to achieve uh, for your guests. And then we just um, basically put a proposal forward, move forward, and create the guests. And our software isn't limited to being having to be connected to a booking software. It can also run standalone. So there are options in that department. So there are other, obviously, uh, digital guidebooks out there. What makes Arana Stay stand out from the crowd? So, yes, there are other digital uh, guidebooks out there. And look, some of them are pretty good. Um, where we're trying to differentiate ourselves is scale. So it's okay doing something manually when you only got a handful of properties. But if you're trying to scale a property management business or if you've got uh, large properties, et cetera, to try and scale digital guards um, with a lot of properties manually is, is a very uh, laborious task. I will we'll put it that way. And that, that's where the automation really comes in. So one of our mantras is automate, integrate, and innovate. So what we've really done is we've spoken to property managers and owners of, of different properties and said, well, where, where's the biggest obstacle to taking this up? And it always comes back down to time. Um, they don't have the time to invest to do this. So we need to find ways to take what they've already got because they're selling these properties on, online. Let's get as much of that information together, use open AR and get these guards out quicker. If we can do like 80% of the guard automatically, which you're only trying to put in 20% and then keep it updating automatically, that saves a lot of time. And, and that's really our differentiators. We, we look at this industry and saying, well, how can we really streamline the process? And I think that's our differentiator. Let's streamline it and make it a far better solution for everyone generally. So what's the future for Arana Stay? What, uh, what are you working on over the next year or so? We're working quite heavily at the moment, um, really on integrations. And also, obviously, open AR or artificial intelligence at the moment is, is quite a new beast. Um, we early adopted that, and we've seen some really good results from that. Um, but you've got to look at it as a tool. Um, I know there's a lot of scaremongering out there that's going to replace jobs in this. It's simply a tool. It's not the most intelligent tool in the world, but if you know how to fine tune it like we do, we can actually use it to start generating that content. Some of the other things we're going to start implementing into our software is really the shopping cart technology. So allowing your guests to, to purchase, whether it be attractions or items from your property, etc. In other words, you want to take the, the perceived cost of the guard and turn it into a money spinner. Um, and we also look at the book direct side of that as well. So how can you encourage people to come back, book direct, and, and really save you really money at the end of the day? So tell us about AI then and, and the future of tech in this industry. I mean, the short-term rentals is extremely innovative. We're seeing new tools and new businesses pop up all the time. How do you think AI is going to shape this industry over the next few years? I think it's going to streamline stuff. I, I, the, the one danger I think of AI is it's changing so fast is as a, as a host, how do you stay up to date with what's changing? And, and I think that can actually be quite confronting and scary for a lot of people as well. Um, so it's really p picking a technology partner who's kind of across that and knows how to handle it. Um, it's going to change. I, I think where it's going to really change is the guest experience side. Because what it's going to enable you to do that hasn't been able to done very well up to now is really identify the guests that are coming back and really highlight their, what do they, what's their perceived benefit with staying with you and encourage that. That's where I think we're going to see a lot of uh, change coming into the industry personally. Interesting. Yeah, it's... Uh... The, the possibilities are, are endless. So you're yeah. obviously based in Australia. Um, tell us about the, the short-term rentals industry down there. What's, what's happening down under at the moment? Um, I think across the world at the moment, short-term rentals is going through a bit of a transition. Um, 
you've got a lot of legislation coming from all corners. I mean, if you look at uh, Byron Bay, they've implemented a 60-day cap per year, which is crazy in my, in, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, New York's pretty much banned short-term rentals outright. Um, and you have got some other centers that are really trying to work with them. Uh, Victoria, for example, they've implemented a 7.5% levy on short-term rentals, um, which is a bit hard, but at least they're working with the industry. They're not just saying, no, see you later. So I think worldwide, it's going through a really um, interesting patch at the moment. Quite a dangerous patch is what my, my version of events would be. And Australia has got a very high proportion of short-term rentals generally across the board. Um, in Sydney, where I am, there, there is a cap. There's a 180-day cap on, on short-term rentals, unless you rent it for more than six weeks. Um, but the rest of New South Wales, there's no caps, except for Byron Bay, for some reason, is the only pocket. The, the rest is okay. I think the problem in the short-term rental industry at the moment is that every jurisdiction is doing different uh, things. There's, there's no kind of common sense approach to it. I think that really is what my opinion has to really change. There needs to be a common sense. But you can't just get rid of people. You can't get rid of it. You can't say to people, well, you can't rent out my property. Why can't I rent out my property? Um, so I think there's the pendulum swung way too far to the extreme side. And I, I hope to see that coming back. But as I say, I'm, I'm quite active on quite a lot of the LinkedIn groups. And it's really um, across the world, it's, it's in, in chaos. Yeah, it's uh, it's a worry, isn't it? Regulation is uh, is coming pretty much everywhere, and everybody's got to try and prepare for it. But it's difficult without knowing exactly what it's going to look like. Know who's who's going to throw what? I mean, the for example, this Byron Bay thing came out of the blue. No one had even been consulted. It was it was really strange. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see how things uh, things develop in in all different jurisdictions, like you say, and everybody's got different rules to adhere to, and it and it makes it makes it tricky, especially if you're operating over uh, over multiple countries. So, what would be uh, what would be some advice that you would give to people? Maybe they've been involved in the industry for a while and they've got a few properties. How can they take their guest experience to the next level? What advice would you give to someone who came to you and said, you know, they want to get better? Uh, obviously, they, that you want them to use a Rana stay, but generally, what uh, what advice would you give? What, the one thing I like to do is people is find out what they're doing first. Um, that there's what I'm finding is in the industry generally is people that are either new into the industry or maybe have acquired some new properties. They're the ones that are more um, willing to look at the whole guest experience, and I think the reason for that is they acknowledge there's a new demographic coming through the market. Um, if, if you look at social media, so if we look at Instagram and Facebook and all those social media platforms, there's a lot of activity in there um, among the, the younger generation. And they're the ones that you need to be appealing to now. So a lot of people say to me sometimes, oh, well, you know, I guess we won't be able to use it because there's Uncle Bob and he's 86 and he doesn't know how to use the phone, so we can't put it in. Well, they're in the minority. You need to look at the majority of your, your business. And that business is changing very, very fast. And I would say to anyone that wants to look at their guest experience is saying, are you satisfying the demographic that's coming to your property? And if you're not, how are you going to change that? And one of the things we do at Iran is we also promote social media quite heavily because we want the guests to go onto your social media page as the host and say, I've had a fantastic holiday here. Because number one, that, that raises the profile of your property. But two, it tells their, the, the, the guests, friends, family, and colleagues where they stayed, which then raises your profile even more. And, and then that starts to turn the wheels where you start getting your guests up. Because at the end of the day, anyone that's run property, and as I said, we've done it before, we're looking at how much can we maximize the amount of guests in a property. <laughs> that's how you make your money. And if you can get the same guests coming back more than having to go look for new guests all the time, fills that gap a lot easier. It's far easier to get people to come back than to go and look for new guests all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. Getting those repeat guests and hopefully turning them into direct bookings if they weren't direct bookings Correct. before is, is, is really vital. And, and that's one thing the app does as well is that it allows them to book direct. Um, and, and that really starts to drive that whole flow. 
the other nice thing is if you run multiple properties, and this is probably one of the, the benefits of our software as well, is we don't, a lot of competitors, you've got to send out a different guide for every single property. With us, we only send out one URL. So there's only one app on your phone. And when they, the guest logs in, it'll automatically work out where they stay and show the relevant property to them. So again, you're not trying to clog a guest phone with all these multiple properties, um, which they don't want. People don't like having too much on their phone. Um, we do know about 74% of people don't delete anything off their phone ever. Um, but again, you don't want to be cloggy at so, And that's one of the benefits as well. So speaking from a, a house perspective, then you, you've obviously got a few properties and this is kind of how you got started a little bit in the industry. What would your main advice be uh, based on your experience as a host? And, and if you could go back maybe to the start of your journey as a host, what would you, what would you tell yourself? Um, I probably would plan it a bit better. Um, we, we kind of dived in at the time, um, thought this was great. Uh, and probably didn't underestimate the amount of work that was involved in, in being a host. And and that really leads back to what I said earlier is the time's your biggest enemy. So we, we found for us it was the juggling the time and everything else and um, cleaning and maintenance and all the kind of stuff that goes on. And what we, in hindsight, I mean, those were days before we could do what we did with software when we started out, but um, we still had, a, a in those days, a paper compendium because this doesn't exist in there um but that never stopped the questions we'd always have the same questions over and over and over again and i think that's the one benefit of of this is that you can send this to the guest straight away they put it on their phone and you take away 80 percent of the questions so when you're interacting with the guest you're actually interacting on a far more personal level um rather than just answering these these silly questions along the way on do you have eight cups in the cupboard and that kind of stuff um so yeah, I think it's I think more planning would be really my advice getting into this industry. Okay, that's great. So just finally then, if people want to find out more about Arana Stay, where do they go? Uh the website's www.aranastay.com. Um we do service the world. I know we're in Australia, but we've um we can service anywhere. So we've we've got the resources to do that. So and as I say, our first chat is complimentary. We're more than happy to chat to you. We just want to find out more. Um, I love chatting to people. It's, there's no obligation whatsoever. So just reach out. It's fantastic. And I'd love to speak to them. Roger, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, James. Pleasure myself. A real pleasure to chat to Roger Graham, the founder and CEO of Arana Stay. Find out more about their digital welcome guide, the situation down in Australia, and get his thoughts on how AI might disrupt our industry. That's just about it for this episode of the HCH podcast. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you've heard, you can help our platform massively if you subscribe, rate and review the podcast. For more free education tips and trends related to the short-term rentals industry, head to our website where you can download our free ebook and sign up for our free weekly newsletter. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com. If you'd like to get in touch with the show, you can email me directly, james at holidaycottagehandbook.com. That's it for now. I'll speak to you soon.